Khan Meditations. Why is visualization important? You have to see it in your mind before you can see it in real life. This is why meditation is so important, because it's a practice that you're taking time out of your day. You're sitting down, you're closing your eyes, and you're envisioning it in your mind. This is why athletes of the highest level visualize it. This is why geniuses of all kinds, all creeds, all makes, visualize it before it happens. Because if you can't see it in your mind, then you won't be able to see it in reality. Everything starts in your mind. Every single thing that you can see in the real world that was man-made, that was created, started as a vision in the mind. This is how you bend your reality. This is how you create your reality, how you want it. You start by seeing it in your mind, and then you put the effort forward, and then slowly, slowly, over time, you become the person that you're envisioning in your mind. A lot of people have the problem where they don't know where to start. They don't know where to start. They're stuck. They're stuck in a rut. They think, well, my life isn't going how it's supposed to go. Nothing is happening how it's supposed to happen. So what, what do I do? I'm just going to sit here and woe is me. Everything is happening to me. Everything is going wrong. Nothing is my responsibility. And I don't know where to start anyway. So who cares? No one's here to help me. No one's here to save me. And no one is here to help you or save you, except yourself. And I'm telling you right now that you can do anything you put your mind to. You can, but first you have to see it in your mind. First you have to believe it in your mind. And you can't believe it if you don't see it. So even if you're saying, well, I do think that I can become this, but I don't really believe it. My belief isn't that strong. Well, first you have to see it in your mind. Keep seeing it, keep replaying it over and over again. Keep doing meditation until you get to the point where you're seeing this through your mind all day, every day, putting positivity into your mind, constantly, 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 where you don't even give your brain a chance to think of anything different because this is all you're putting into your brain. Positive thoughts, this image of you succeeding, success. What does it feel like? Feel the feeling of it happening after it already happened. Don't feel what it's gonna feel like during, don't feel like what it's gonna feel like before. Think about what it's gonna feel like after you already accomplished what you want to accomplish. So if you wanna build a successful business, see the end result. See it, what is it gonna feel like when people are around you, you're supporting them, you're changing their lives. Everything is being supported through this company, your family, your stability across the board. Everyone is happy. You're making money. You're changing the world. You're changing the lives of other people around you. You have a feeling of accomplishment. You feel important. You feel needed. You feel loved. Everything about you has changed in that moment because you're already living that life. There's no difference in your mind and in your reality from what you're experiencing in your mind. There's no difference at all until you open your eyes. But whenever your eyes are closed and you're envisioning it, there's no difference. And slowly over time, you will start to become that person because that person exists in another reality, in another parallel universe. That version of you already exists. The key is to just shift into that version. And slowly over time, once you start taking the actions that that person would take, once you start doing what that person would do, you start to shift and you start to become that version, that best version of yourself. You start to become them. And then you wake up one day and you say, wow, I am that person. This happened exactly like how I saw it in my mind. Look at all the famous people. Look at all the successful people. All of them say they saw it in their mind. It doesn't matter where they came from. It doesn't matter what walk of life they came from, who their parents were. They saw it in their mind. You can find someone of any social status. They could have been homeless and look at them now. They're successful. It doesn't matter where you come from. What matters is what you saw, what you believed in your mind, who you hung around and what you put into your reality to bend your reality to that version of you that's the most successful. That is very, very well said, Han. I've said before that there's been studies where they take track runners and they measure the vibration and the waves of their brain and the activity of the brain and measured it, looked at it, and just had them visualizing running and winning the race. 
and the wave activity of the brain was the exact same as if they was actually running the race. This stuff is huge, this stuff is scientifically backed, and it is real. And if you have to think about it, anything that comes into existence made by humans, it starts with an idea. What is an idea? It's in your mind. It's a flash of inspiration in your mind. You have to see it, and then it is created. And even just for little things as well, it doesn't even have to be a full dream. Really think about every little thing you do. You get up out of bed, you move your finger, you have to think that before you do it. Everything stems from your mind, every single thing. We have to see it to believe it. Once we believe it, we can create it, but it'll help keep you motivated as well because it definitely is easier said than done to just rely off the dream and just keep believing it's gonna happen when your reality around you, nothing around it is saying it's happening, nothing around you is saying it's happening, but you have to keep going, you have to keep doing it, you're doing, 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 it's not, you're not seeing it, you're not seeing it in reality, but you can close your eyes and see it and feel that excitement of that end goal. And sometimes that's really all you have to go off of and it will keep you motivated. And you gotta have that excitement. The feeling attached with the visualization is what truly manifests everything. You gotta have that inner feeling 15 seconds at a time can crystallize these things into our reality. That's all you need to do. Like Kelly said, it's crystallizing it into your reality. So if you constantly are having these waves of powerful moments and you're demanding it and you're commanding it into your reality, and just like Kelly said, it's just around the corner. You never want to give up, no matter what. Keep doing it and keep your faith in line. It doesn't matter what people say around you. It doesn't matter if people are laughing at you. It doesn't matter if people don't believe in you. It doesn't matter what they think. Because the only thing that matters is the success of you. And you are an important being. You are an infinite being. There is nothing that you can't do. There is nowhere you can't go. There is nothing you can't accomplish. And once you believe this, and once you know that, if you exist now, you are a part of God. If you exist now, you are an infinite being, and therefore, you can do anything and accomplish anything at any given time, and it's just around the corner. There's no time to be sad, there's no time to think negatively, just keep going one day at a time, and know that every single day, you're getting better and better, every single day in every single way no matter what no matter what guys i'm not saying it's going to be easy i'm not saying it's not going to be hard at times but it is simple it is a simple concept just think positively watch who you're around watch what's going into your mind because we're all programmed we're all programmed by society, by the people around us, by the things that we watch, by the things that we do. So if you're around people who aren't doing anything with their lives, you're going to be a loser. If you're around people that are making money, you're going to be making money. If you're around people that are working out and taking care of their bodies, you're going to start working out. This happens to me as well. My best friend, Ray, he's a positive influence on my life. He was working out every single day. I'm like, I got to get back in the gym. This dude's working out every single day. <laughs> what am I doing? I got to start getting in the gym. So I started to get in the gym and he influenced me by just being himself. So by him doing the things that he's doing, he inspired me and he's inspiring people around him without even realizing it, that that's what he's doing. And that's the way of synchronicity. That's the way of positivity, and that's the way to influence people by not having insistence or resistance on the outcome. Don't try and push someone to do something. Just be the example, and he's the example. And I looked at him and said, wow, he's working out. I need to start working out again. Wow, he's doing this. I need to start doing that. And if you're around people that are successful and people that are doing the right things, then that's who you're going to emulate. That's who you're going to be more like. If you're around people that are losers, you're going to become more of a loser. If you're around people that are fat, people that are eating McDonald's every day, fast food constantly, processed foods, that's who you're going to become. 
If you're around people that all they do is every single day, they eat a conscious diet, they're cooking their own food, everything about them is, 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 is very particular and everything about them is planned, that's who you're gonna become. So choose your friends wisely. Choose who you're hanging around. Choose who's programming you in your mind. And I promise you that you will become a better version of yourself than you could have ever imagined. I truly believe that it's the same for you, Han. You just being yourself and following your dreams, making these guided meditations, making this channel. I truly think it rubs off on people around you and your peers way more than you, you think even you know. know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> It rubs off on everyone around you way more than you know, and you never tell people you gotta do this, you gotta do that. But you, as you said, just naturally being yourself inspires people to want to go follow their dreams as well. And that's all you have to do in life. The more that you are yourself, your truest self, the more easy it is to become your truest self because sometimes people struggle with that where they feel embarrassment or shame or just really need to get in touch with who they are at all but the more you are just expressing your truly your true self it's a real high vibration and it spreads light to everyone around you and you don't have to tell them do this you should do that you should do that just by seeing the way that you are they will feel so inspired people think that about you as well and if you guys are listening and watching this people think that about you so just know that it's a known thing that kids pick up on not only the things you say, but the things you do. I was talking to one of my family members and he was talking about retiring early and how great that would be. And I was like, yeah, that sounds like a great idea. But at the same time, I don't want to retire early because I don't want my kids to see me just sitting around the house all day, not doing anything. When I was growing up, I saw my father going out and working, 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 maybe too much but just out working all the time. That's what the father is supposed to do. And I, if I would have seen my father just laying around the house, being like, yeah, I'm retired. I'm gonna, I would have been like, dude, this suit is, she's a loser. You need to get up and work, dude. What's going on? You know what I'm saying? So it's one of those things where kids are going to pick it up and everyone picks it up around you, whether you know it or not. Even if they don't know who you are or what you're about, people can look in your eyes. And if they're a real G, they can look in your eyes and they know, yeah, he's about something. So that's why the, your friends and the people you're around and the people you associate with, are, it's so important. It's so important. It tells more about you than you realize. I know people that I'm like, okay, you're talking, you're talking to that guy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All right. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I'm not going to say anything. I'm not going to do anything. But hey, if you're talking to him, you know. And that's all I need to know. So it's just one of those funny things where you just have to continue to move on and progress and don't worry about what anyone says, what anyone does. Just put the work in, continue to put the work in, and I promise you, you will see results and everything will align. Like and subscribe, guys. If you like the setup, this setup is pretty cool, right? It's pretty dope. So we're excited about it. We're so excited. So thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next video and thank you for watching.